Hey, good morning, guys. I'm gonna make a quick video. Um, this is not gonna be a 13 minute video, hopefully, but we're back at one of these uh, plasma places. So that's the ante room. It's running negative 24 Celsius. This is freezer three, running 38, negative 38 Celsius. And this is freezer four. This is the one I'm gonna be working on. Um, so we're at minus 36. I just put this one in a defrost and I'm gonna have to get a couple of jackets. That's probably not gonna do a whole lot for me, but hopefully I'm not in there way too long. Um, I'll show you what I do once we get inside here. All right guys, we're inside the freezer. And this is all we're doing today. They're having trouble with the defrost right up there and having trouble with the defrost uh, possibly staying on too long. So these fans, you know, when, when it stays on too long, you'll start steaming. It'll catch on the fans. When the fans start, it'll sling it around the shroud and inside this plate right here. And eventually it'll create ice to where these uh, fans will get stuck. So according to the refrigeration engineer, uh, he doesn't like the position of that defrost termination sensor right there. So that's what he wants me to move today. This is gonna be a simple call. Hopefully, he wants me to relocate this sensor to the inside of the, of the coil behind this fan, two inches from the top and two inches from the side. So that's what we're gonna to do today. But for right now, he wants me to go ahead and monitor this defrost. And he wants to know if we're steaming up too much. As you can see inside there, the top part of the coil still has a bit of a ice buildup. So, right in there too. And that one too, you see that? So he wants that, uh, wants that taken care of today. And this won't froze. So I just checked amp draw across the, uh, every single one of these uh, heaters and all the heaters are running properly, so. So now we can go ahead and uh, monitor it, see if it's gonna steam up the, uh, um, yeah, you can see way at the end, you got some ice right there. But uh, we're just gonna see if it starts steaming before it uh, terminates. So, all right guys. So, it just kicked out of defrost. It is not creating a whole bunch of steam like we thought, however, it is not, it is not defrosting the top part of this coil. Now, according to what the uh, engineer is telling me is that they relocated this sensor when this uh, building was, uh, or these systems were refurbished. So generally they like that sensor inside on the top two inches of the coil and uh, whoever refurbished it put it down here and he says they've had problems ever since then so i'm actually gonna go give him a call and see if he wants me to uh to relocate it and then we'll throw it in another defrost and see what happens Whew, let me get out of here all right guys this is a condensing unit from what i'm told is they put brand new compressors brand new uh I don't know, refrigerant, things like things of that sort. So, I think this. I think this uh, plasma place was. All right, guys, I got it open. <laughs> so here it is. This is our defrost controller. <coughs> Liquid injection. Um, so here's our sensors. So that's our set point for our fan delay, negative 10 degrees. And that's our set point for our uh, defrost termination. So I just spoke to the uh, refrigeration engineer. He wants me to go ahead and relocate the, um, wants me to go ahead and relocate the uh, defrost termination sensor. And also, uh, you know what, let me pump it down first. And uh, also we're gonna raise the defrost termination temp to, uh, I believe he said 45 degrees. So, 
that's what we're gonna do. Blade taken off. I already shut the power off here, shut it to disconnect. And I already verified that there's absolutely zero power across all these to ground. So I don't feel like getting shot today. Not in a minus 38 freezer. So let's go ahead and see how difficult this thing is gonna be to take off. Especially because it's frozen solid right now. Look at that. So all right, give me a second. Let me use two hands here. <coughs> Alright guys, so the sensor is being held in with that tar insulation, whatever it is, and it was frozen solid. So I had to get my map gas torch and slightly very carefully heat it up so that I could get it uh, warm enough. Where's my 516s? I guess I use this one. Um, so that I could get it warm enough. Here it is, 516s. Um, so that I could take that tar off. Low battery on my... So anyways, I gotta remove this sensor from here and relocate it. So that's what I'm doing right now, gents. <coughs> All right, guys. Got a little area right there. We're gonna put the sensor just right here. So about two inches this way and two inches would be right here, but there's a coil tube. So we're gonna put it right here. So that's where I'm gonna put it in. We're just gonna shove it in, enclose it with the fins, and secure the wire, make sure it doesn't get caught up on the fan. So let me go ahead and do that. I need two hands for that. All right guys, sensor's not going in all the way. I think there's a tube somewhere. Uh, unless it's just ice. Uh, I'm not sure if these tubes are staggered. So. It looks just like it's ice. So we're gonna try to get that, uh, try to get that sensor in as far as we can. Add it in there. We got the uh, aluminum fins bent around it. So now you could give it a decent little couple of tugs and it's not gonna go anywhere. So now we're just gonna secure this on the outside and we'll throw it into a defrost. So, and we're about to be done. All right guys, so we got it secured, zip tied up here, and we reuse this little bracket. Um, pretty much in case that sensor ever falls off, it won't run down this little notch, and hopefully it doesn't get sucked into the fan. But uh, we got it secured pretty good right now. Uh, now we're just gonna go ahead and go upstairs and uh, change the set point on that controller. So. All right guys, so just got off the phone with the uh, refrigeration engineer. He wants one defrost at two in the morning and he wants, that's a fan delay, a uh, set point, negative 10 degrees. And he wants a 50 degree defrost termination. Um, he pretty much makes the calls on all these. It doesn't matter what we think. Um, they have a way of monitoring this. They actually have graphs they go by. So if uh, if this doesn't work, you'll just call me out here, drop it down five degrees, and then you know we'll just play with the temperature until until he gets the number he likes. So he already told me that he wants me to come back on Monday to do this one. Um, he wanted me to do it today, but I told him it's actually I, I actually I have to shut the freezer now, and this freezer has a bunch of plasma in it. So we'll schedule that for Monday. But uh, anyways, gents, that's it for today. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and throw it into one more defrost, make sure everything's running good, and we'll get out of here. So once again, thanks everybody for watching. Really appreciate y'all's... Uh... Here we go again. I really appreciate y'all watching the channel and uh, spending some time to hear my my uh, accented voice, so we'll see you on the next one, gentlemen.